Hello, my Sock Universe, to another collection video. And as before, I will not have a time to properly preview La Liga. However, we can look at the, some jerseys of teams from Spain, club teams from Spain that I have. I'm wearing my newly acquired Atletico Madrid jersey. You saw the unpacking uh, previously. And so we can run through this. As for the background, I'm not sure if I said it for the Germany jerseys. I always choose uh, the teams that are most represented in La Liga this time around, at least for a 2021 season, but I think there might have been only a few changes. So it is Spanish teams and Argentinian teams uh, that are most important. And then we have Portugal. But I would say let's go into uh, the jerseys. I said uh, Atletico Madrid. There are a few teams where I have multiple jerseys, uh, but then most of them I've only won. We'll start off with a team that unfortunately got relegated, but it's a really beautiful jersey that I wouldn't want to miss. It's of course uh, Real Valladolid coming off the hanger. Here you go. Real Valladolid this is his last season jersey in which they got relegated, and funnily enough, this jersey was worn when they got relegated. This jersey was worn when Atletico Madrid became champ champions. Um, I always think that Real Madrid is one of those teams that actually belong in La Liga, although it's not one of the biggest teams. But what I really like is how they did the um, uh, color gradient here. And I have to say the pink details on the side are actually really nice, uh, really nice touch. The back is plain, maybe I could have, could have used some stripes there as well, but I got yeah, with sleeve sponsors and leak patch, a really, really nice shirt, I gotta say. And I hope Real Valladolid will make it back very, very soon. Uh, the next team is a promoted team and oh, my other really new jersey, which is of course uh, Espanyol. My only Kelme jersey so far. It's all about the sponsor on this one. I mean, I like the blue and the uh, the white stripes, plain back Catalan flag. One has to, I always have to point, point, point it out, but the sponsor to me is the outstanding feature. Uh, what I didn't show in the unpacking is that, of course, the mascot of Espanyol is a little parrot. And we have it right here on the bottom as well, which I find is a, another sweet touch. So, Espanyol, I finally have an Espanyol shirt. The one that I'm very happy with. Now we're going to a, a big team. Although this big team hasn't been performing all too well. It is of course Valencia. I have two Valencia shorts. Uh, the really nice away jersey from the 15-16 season. And this one was the home jersey from 18-19 or 19-20. That's the 19-20 home shirt. Uh, first one with Puma. Um, it has a very interesting uh, shadow pattern a little bit in there, although it's not very visible. We have to see it up close. It's very faint. Uh, it is this Puma tent tentacle with kind of the plastic, uh, the form strap is kind of plastic. Of course, we have La Liga patch. I love this with uh, Spanish league jerseys that most of them get. You get the La Liga patch as well. Um, I was initially never sure about the orange color, but um, I actually start liking it so i think it's a uh, it's not a bad shirt and with the marseille shirt it has the same feature here that this is actually stretchy but up top it is not so yeah valencia we have it's one of those must have teams i would say for any spanish collection then we have a very very special jersey it's probably the weirdest one in there but i'm actually quite happy to have it this is granada 13, 14, 14, 13, 15 prototype jerseys. It was actually never worn. This was when they uh, switched away from Legea. Uh, this was a jersey that was proposed to be worn and it actually was produced and then at the last second they switched away. I think they switched to Luanvi. It is a jersey where I have, has, I find the template over rather weird, but it has a certain superhero quality, quality with this um, cutout here. If you wear it, you re I really look like a superhero. Also the cut with getting this a little a little bit smaller. It, it looks much better when you wear it than if uh, you look at it just like that. Uh, plain back, that's yeah, it's becoming unfortunately for, for, for standard. I find the sleeves also a little bit weird, but yeah, uh, it is a, that jersey is a whole lot more fun than I initially thought. I got it for really, really cheap from Sportsbar. I think this was only uh, I think it was not more than 9 euros uh, for sure. 
Another jersey that I needed to have, and I got it for the Europa League, is Via Real. This is the 16-17 home jersey, of course, all in yellow. Uh, it is not much more, but of course, Homa is one of those. This is a double XL. You need to size up for Homa a little bit. Uh, I think the really nice part is, as with most Homa jerseys, the tail here. There's always. Uh, I think I have this also for Atalanta, where there's a little bit of a uh, imprint there. Uh, the plas uh, the grass is just plastic, but it has a little bit of a pattern in there. And if you, l I'm not sure how the camera will pick pick this up, but there's also a kind of a, a chevron pattern on the front of the jersey up here, which makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. Uh, this was still a stitched La Liga patch, so for the more re re reason was a plastic logo, but uh, here I actually like the stitched one a whole lot better. On the back, nothing more than the club's logo from the crest. Villarreal, they are now Europa League champions. It's actually a team that I would say Minval deserves to be up there, although historically they have not been in La Liga, but they have surely left their dent ever since they came up. And now we had the big four teams over the past two seasons. Um, when I got this, uh, the shirt that I got, this was a replacement of a fake, this uh, Sevilla one. This was the 1819 season. I have to say, Sevilla shirts are white and there's not much to them. Uh, and this is a classic um, Nike template. But I have to say, it's actually quite nice. Yes, it's not the one they won the Europa League in, it's not the one that they finished top four and did well in the Champions League. Uh, however, it's a precursor to those, and I've, I actually really like it because of the template. I got it relatively cheap from classic football shirts. Um, and it's very, very ventilated on many ways. So uh, this is really um, yeah, classic Nike template in many ways. And of course the city motto, no, uh, I don't know, uh, something with, uh, uh, it hasn't left me. I have, I have made this in a uh, video, video I've written, I, I, I've, I've, I've talked about it. What is missing is the league logo here. So it's a rather plain shirt, but you know, Sevilla. White with a little, bit, a little bit of red, that's exactly what you would expect. Coming now to my, actually not my first La Liga jer jersey, it's not in this uh, video, but my second one and my first ever Barcelona shirt. I chose this one. A, I have not been wearing it a whole lot as of late. And B, because the design of it is very similar to what Barcelona is wearing this season, although the colors of this season's shirts are of you notice the different uh, colored sleeves, which is a feature, honestly, it took me uh, more than a year to actually mentally realize, ah, the sleeves are differently colored. Never. I just looked at the striped pattern. I was never <laughs> aware that the sleeves are differently. It's just so weird. Uh, as I said, this was my first uh, Barcelona shirt. Um, it was bought to me from my brother uh, during Christmas. I I want to say this is the 2001-2002 home shirt because that's when he was there uh, and I was quite happy because it was more strapped. This is I think the first Nike shirt that I actually, a uh, home shirt that I actually enjoyed. Still kind of the old style crest. Um, everything centered which is maybe the part I in, don't like that much but you know at that time Nike went all for centered. I personally prefer my crest more on the left breast but yeah. Uh, no, look at the small tiny La Liga logo. But I have, have, have to say, I mean, uh, the, the other thing that, that, that I didn't like is, I mean, here's the gold piping on the front, which I really like, but why don't we have it on the back as well? That to me is a chance missed. Uh, gold numbers were worn with that, that one. But I, I have to say, I love this shirt, despite having maybe more colors. It has four total colors, uh, the Blaugrana, then a dark blue and gold. But it's a really, really nice Barcelona shirt. Now for Real Madrid, I decided to go with probably what is now my favorite Real Madrid shirt, which is the 1920 away shirt, the dark blue with the gold. Uh, I have talked about this a whole, whole lot. I call it the Galactico shirt because of the pattern in there, although it's supposedly a sound wave. It's just gorgeous. Uh, that's a really gorgeous color combination. Again, I'm not too fond of the black. That's maybe the only, the only thing where I think I would have done something different differently because the black and the dark blue at least in my eyes don't drive together but this is an absolutely otherwise gorgeous wonderful looking jersey that yeah um, the moment I saw it I knew that I probably need to need, need to get this and it proves that um, Adidas 
can still get it right if they are trying. Uh, the funny thing is I have two dark Real Madrid jerseys, only one white one. So you can guess what I'm looking for. I want to get one white one. And we finish with the champions. I wear the one that I won the uh, latest championship in. I don't have the other one where I won a championship in, but I'll show you also a home jersey. And that's the one from the 16th and 17th season, the last one that they played in the Vicente Calderon, which is of course featured in here. I uh, absolutely like this one. I have a very special relationship to the shirt because when I bought it, I got it for 10 years. Did I get it for 10 or even cheaper? I want to say 10, but it might have been even cheaper because it was so heavily stained. No, I, I, I think I got it for three or four. Some, 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 because it was, hev it was heavily stained. And I made my first jersey maintenance video show showing how I removed the stains with a toothbrush and whatever. I got them all out. It is like new, this shirt. And I'm very happy about that. And these 16, 17 shirts, I never really liked the template overall, but it was the first time where I saw that the Nike material is really, really nice and really comfy to wear. So I'm very happy. I also wanted to have my first Atleti shirt to have the old crest, which I like a bit more than this one. Um, here, I really would wish that the bear was in full color as it is here. Other, other that, I don't mind this new style. I really would have loved to get one with the Azerbaijan sponsor, which I think is also a really, really nice sponsor. And not the La Liga crest is also stitched here and still kind of small, kind of small. But yeah, what is that? Is it one jersey from each of the La Liga teams that I have? Uh, of course, Basque teams are sorely missing in my co co collection. And Real Sociedad is on the very, very top of my list of uh, teams that I need to add. And I think Athletic Club is right up there as well. Those are two teams I really should have in my collection. And yeah, that's the hole in the Spanish collection, I have to say. I think if I would have those two, it would look uh, a little bit more complete for my liking. And then there's also a small matter that I actually like Celta Vigo and I don't have a Celta shirt. so. There you go. There are three teams that I immediately need to add. And yeah, probably over this upcoming season, I will work on those. Spanish shirts, for some reason, are not that easy to come, come by around here, which I find a shame. I mean, uh, unless you talk about the big three. Uh, but everything other than uh, Barca and the two Madrid teams is not that easy to get around here. In any case, let me know which shirts of these you liked in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, enjoy La Liga. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.